Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be my first ever solo trip to North Dakota. Last year I went mule deer hunting with Joey out there. I filmed him, didn't get to hunt. I didn't draw this year, so I bought an over-the-counter whitetail tag. Going by myself, I have this awesome flated topper that I just bought with an air deck in it so I can sleep on it. And I'm gonna camp in my truck for the next five days. Opening day is tomorrow, season opens at noon. So I'm gonna head over there. It's about a seven hour drive through Minnesota and North Dakota. Get there, get some rest, wake up and go glass some deer. Let's go. I just pulled into the parking lot at the place I'm gonna stay, or the field entrance, whatever, I don't know. 11.48 uh, p.m. So I'm gonna wake up at 5.45, go glass some deer, drive all over the place, but long ride out here by myself. So I'm gonna hop in the back of the truck, get some rest. It's not a bad way to start the morning. I filmed a little video outside, but realized I had the lavalier mic plugged in, but not on. So there's no volume. Slept decent, got like five hours of sleep. Kind of woke up on and off, but I was really hot when I went to bed. Then I woke up and I'm like, I got the chill. So I got the heat on. It's only 64 out, but it's a beautiful morning. Gonna be bluebird skies. I don't, I've never been out here. Literally, like, I just pulled into a field inlet that was a public place that I could know I could camp and slept in the truck. And now I gotta drive, go find some deer and see where people are at and what's the plan. Season opens at noon. First it's breakfast time. Well, I think I got something figured out. I've driven around all morning. It's now nine o'clock, so season opens at noon. I really don't want to be in a tree until four, but I'm like, if I find a spot, I'm gonna park there and just freaking camp out all day so nobody shows up. All the other spots were okay, but I found this giant piece and the beans are absolutely still green. Now the issue is this piece is so big and it's all bean field, like, I think tonight, obviously I didn't see a deer yet, Tonight's just gonna be an observation sit. I'm just deciding if I wanna sit on the big field or the smaller field. I'm like, the smaller field kinda has my, cause it's kinda hidden. Granted, this is a dead end road anyways, so I'm thinking the smaller field. But at the same time, if I sit the bigger field and just plan on like, okay, probably not gonna shoot tonight, but I just wanna sit there and glass with binoculars, that'll help me figure out like, okay, if I see deer come out in this spot tonight, I'll go and get closer tomorrow. The wind's not ideal, it's gonna be blowing into the woods, but I'm just gonna have to pick something and roll with it. I made the drive, now I gotta go shoot some arrows and make sure that nothing moved on my bow. So, just hopefully 30 yards and in. Safety harness on. I feel like for not wearing much clothes, I got a lot of crap. I always pack because I'm bringing two lenses. This one, the big one, shotgun mic, Binox range finders, got the safety harness on underneath. I got, you know, my bow set, my bow hangers. I have like all this other stuff that I gotta bring with, gear hooks. It's a short walk, so see you guys in the tree. All right, I'm finally in the tree. It's like 30 mile an hour winds, it's always up here. Uh, I've climbed up and down this tree six times and then I had to go back to the truck because I forgot the base plate for the camera so it can attach to my fourth arrow camera arm. So, first sit of the year, new stand I'm learning, new pack, um, new camera arm, just about new everything. It's just, so far it was an absolute shit show, but I got in early. I mean, it's like 4.15, shooting hour, it's like 8.30 something, this final. So, now it's just a long sit.
it. So I have an update for the first day. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys actually saw. I sat in a spot where we had a strong, strong southwest wind, and it was west, and it was supposed to switch to northwest. But the only place on that field I could sit was on the west side. You just watch me eat that bug. Um, and I knew I'm like, just by the way the deer sign was and the runways for what I walked earlier, I'm like, I knew the deer were gonna come from the north and they're gonna come in front of me, which is downwind of me. So I just gotta shoot them before they get there. So hopefully a buck comes first. Well, of course it was a doe and a fawn. They came out and I had been dropping milkweed the entire day, watching it go to that spot. As soon as she hit that spot, she started stomping and ended up blowing. But there were some other deer on the field and there was deer behind me in the woods, but they just didn't move until late. So got the jet boil fired up gonna have some peak for fuel beef stroking off it's my favorite um, crawl in the back of the flated here and get some sleep I'm gonna stay a little more local to where I'm camping tomorrow hunt some more grassy stuff instead of woods and field Yeah, so it took a lot longer walking there than I thought this morning, so obviously I didn't get set till it was well after shooting light. I was set for about a minute facing the wrong direction, and I looked over and there's a doe staring at me, and that was the only deer I saw. If not tonight, I will be sitting here like the next two nights. It's day three. I'm in the same spot I was in last night. I just left my stuff in there. I grabbed my bow, my cameras, and water bottle, obviously. But I didn't see anything next to me last night. The deer sign here is too good not to. It was like 97 while I was sitting, so the deer didn't move. It's Sunday night here, and I'm in a completely new spot. I'm gonna be hunting in some woods today. Um, I think it'd this is going to be good. All you need to know is that I've struggled the last couple days. I'm out here loading up the gear, going to the woods to kill a deer. Alright, it is now Monday morning, my right? I didn't do an outro last night, but I did see deer, so that's my buck. That was wild. I had five bucks to just walk through in a line. The sun's not even up yet, hardly like I can shoot, but it's like four minutes after legal light.
Strikes 11 deer that I've seen this morning, and three of them which have blown at me above the hill. I never heard that deer come in. He was at like 30 yards and I couldn't get turned around. I stood up and then he was downwind of me so he didn't like it. I had to grab my bow and take with the camera. It was a freaking safety harness like he was coming this way so I had to turn it. It's like choking me. I still gotta figure out how to use this thing. I absolutely I just woke up, took a three hour nap. I feel pretty lucid right now. Awesome morning sit. Bucks were everywhere, deer were everywhere. Didn't seem to matter, it was awesome. So, gonna go back to a similar spot tonight and get out of these flies. It's hot again, but coldness is coming tomorrow and I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm gonna shoot whatever walks out. Freaking shot in the shoulder.
punching and falling over, but I'm just gonna check for his blood, gonna back out, get some service, talk to my buddy, review the footage, and then probably give this deer some time, but oh, I knew tonight would be the freaking night. Just hope it pans out. As I early season last year, I got a mule deer in the neck. I'm not, I'm really not a bad shot. I was super controlled when I made this shot. It just like, maybe my level was off. I don't know, I've shot sitting down. I've never shoot sitting down. So, who knows? Well. That is the shot I'm dealing with at the moment. So, it's been at least an hour. I can't tell, I think I got hopefully like eight inches of penetration, but. We're gonna go and check for some blood, track him a little bit, and figure it out while we're there. Just walk straight over there. He's straight over there underneath that hanging limb. You want a video? It's on there. Look at that. You got a velvet deer. I know. That wasn't a penetration. Yeah, old North, old North Dakota slammer right there, dude. He's a hoss. He's a big one. Do you want to get the game card? <laughs> <laughs> I prayed for it, dude. I really did. <laughs> I don't know what you believe in, but this guy always says, God is good, at least for me. Dude. I mean, your arrow is poking him against the bottom here, see? Let's go, dude, no dag 2023. <laughs> Starting the season off with a freaking blessing. In the last two years, I was in Nebraska and burnt my tag both years. And this was gonna be a solo trip. And like four days before, my buddy Jacob calls me and he's like, yeah, you going to Nodak? I'm like, yeah. Just ended up meeting him up here and freaking helped me get on some deer. So, thanks, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> For it. One of my... Kick off. Look at that. He's got, like, growing long hair. Deer Camp 2023. That is the start of our grinding season. Mm -hmm.